Well, part of our success will be the partners that we keep, and we're super happy uh, to keep Palantir as a partner. What this will do for us is we're a business that sits on an enormous amount of data, both about our cars, about our customers and the like, and positioning those cars and managing those cars to their highest efficiency obviously brings uh, you know, positive outcomes for the company and for our customers. Palantir and their Foundry platform enables us to take very different forms of data, whether it's data about our vehicles, data about the weather, data about airline schedules, take all of that, combine them in a way where we're not compelled to put them in a common form, and they give us output on which we can manage the company better. Hard work with no shortcut. This is the way. It should be hard work and continue to push forward in delivering quality products and improving Mullins products and services. That should be the only way to let the stock perform better. Gain the investor's trust by delivering quality products and timely delivery. This video will dive deep into how Mullen should improve by utilizing AI. Make sure to watch this thrilling episode of the Mullen Automotive Saga. Mullen Automotive has been in the news lately for two reasons. One is its upcoming launch of its flagship EV, the Dragonfly K50, which is expected to be delivered in the second quarter of 2023. Mullen has secured orders from reputable dealers and customers and has competitive pricing and features for the Class 1 and 3 EV vans. The Dragonfly K50 is a luxury sports car that can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds and has a range of 350 miles on a single charge. It also has a sleek design, a spacious interior, and advanced technology features such as a 15.6-inch touchscreen, wireless charging, and a panoramic sunroof. The Dragonfly K50 is priced at $55,000 for the base model and $85,000 for the premium model, which is lower than its competitors, such as the Tesla Model S and the Lucid Air. The Class 1 and 3 EV vans are commercial vehicles that can be used for delivery, cargo, and passenger transportation. They have a range of 250 miles on a single charge and can carry up to 5,000 pounds of payload. They also have a modular design that allows for different configurations and customizations. The Class 1 EV van is priced at $39,000 and the Class 3 EV van is priced at $49,000, lower than their competitors. Mullen claims that it has received over 10,000 pre-orders for its EVs and that it has partnered with several dealerships across the U.S. to distribute its vehicles. Mullen also says it has secured a manufacturing facility in Memphis, Tennessee, where it plans to produce up to 100,000 vehicles annually by 2025. The other reason Mullen Automotive has been in the news is its controversial deal with Saudi Arabia, which Lawrence Harge, Senior Vice President of Technology of Mullen Advanced Energy Operations, announced. The deal has been criticized by investors, analysts, and the public. In addition, many people have questioned the credibility and legitimacy of Lawrence Harge, who has been accused of lying and scamming. Nevertheless, he has been posting videos on social media claiming that he has met with Saudi officials and that the deal is still on. Many red flags have emerged since then that cast doubt on the deal and Lawrence Harge's credibility. First, there was no official confirmation or announcement from PIF about the deal or the meeting. Second, there was no evidence or documentation of the MOU or the meeting. Third, there was no definitive explanation or rationale for why Saudi Arabia would invest in MAEO. Fourth, there was no clear timeline or plan for how the deal would be executed or how it would benefit Mullen Automotive or its shareholders. What does this mean for Mullen Automotive and its shareholders? First, Mullen Automotive should spend more time improving its products and delivering EVs timely. They should also invest in improving their EV tech process by utilizing AI. This will incur productivity improvement and cost savings. But don't just take our word for it. Let's look at some numbers. Here is a chart showing the stock performance of Mullen Automotive and Palantir Technologies, a software company specializing in data analytics and AI solutions. As you can see, Mullen Automotive stock price has been volatile and has dropped significantly from $1.47 on May 4th to $0.76 cents on June 2nd. Conversely, Palantir Technologies' stock price increased from $7.78 on May 1st to $14.71 on June 2nd. Why is there such a big difference? One reason is that Palantir Technologies has made headlines for its AI innovations and partnerships with various industries. 
Palantu Technologies has partnered with several automotive and mobility companies, such as Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, BP, Airbus, Lilium, and Faraday Future. Palantu Technologies also invested in Faraday Future, an EV company that went public via SPAC. Palantir Technologies also signed a commercial contract with Faraday Future to use its Foundry platform for data analytics and AI solutions. Palantir Technologies has also launched the EV Infrastructure OS, an application that can help businesses and organizations plan and optimize their EV charging infrastructure. Palantir claims that its platform can help EV companies improve their operations, quality, innovation, and customer satisfaction by integrating and analyzing data from various sources and systems across the automotive value chain. But before we continue, we want to thank you for watching this far. Now, let's see how these companies have improved after working with Palantir Technologies. Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, FCA used Palantir Foundry to optimize its supply chain operations across its global network of plants. FCA reduced inventory costs by 10%, increased production efficiency by 8%, and improved customer satisfaction by 15%. Airbus, Airbus used Palantir Foundry to streamline its production and delivery processes for its A350 aircraft. Airbus increased production by 33%, reduced lead time by 25%, and saved $1.7 billion annually. Lilium, Lilium used Palantir Foundry to accelerate its electric vertical takeoff and landing or EVTOL aircraft development. Lilium reduced design iterations by 50%, increased engineering productivity by 30%, and improved safety and reliability by 40%. Faraday Future, Faraday Future used Palantir Foundry to optimize its battery production and vehicle quality. Faraday Future reduced battery costs by 20%, increased battery performance by 15%, and improved vehicle quality by 10%. In October 2022, Palantir Technologies partnered with Hertz, one of the largest vehicle rental companies in the world. Hertz uses the Palantir Foundry operating system to create a platform to help the company more efficiently manage and operate its fleet of nearly 500,000 vehicles, including tens of thousands of EVs. The platform will provide vehicle availability insights based on rental status, service orders, location, and registration data to create a single source of truth that algorithmically makes the best use of assets to decrease out-of-service vehicles, all of which will significantly reduce operating costs and help customers get on the road faster. By partnering with Palantir Technologies, these companies were able to leverage the power of data and AI to improve their performance and competitiveness in the EV industry. In addition, Palantir Technologies also helped these companies accelerate their innovation cycle and create new products and services that meet the needs of the future mobility market. Mullen Automotive has a lot of potential to become a leader in the EV industry. It has a strong team of engineers and designers with experience developing high-performance vehicles. It also has a unique business model combining vehicle manufacturing, battery production, charging infrastructure, and vehicle subscription services. However, Mullen Automotive also faces a lot of challenges and risks. It must compete with established players like Tesla, Ford, GM, and Volkswagen, who have more resources and market share. It must also deal with regulatory hurdles, supply chain issues, customer demand fluctuations, and quality problems. That's why Mullen Automotive should partner with Palantir Technologies. By providing data-driven insights and solutions, Palantir Technologies could help Mullen Automotive overcome these challenges and risks. Palantir Technologies could also help Mullen Automotive achieve its vision of creating affordable and sustainable EVs for everyone. This would be a much better strategy for Mullen Automotive than relying on a dubious deal with Saudi Arabia that may never happen. Mullen Automotive should focus on its core business and customers. This is the way! What do you think? Do you agree or disagree with us? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel if you do. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. We have an excellent compilation of Mullen Automotive videos. Click our playlist right here and enjoy.